Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is Maria Vargo from GK Justin Entertainment coming to you live, not live actually, recorded <laughs> from the Shrine of Divine Mercy in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. And here's my lunch today. Very blessed to have some tuna salad on crackers that came out of this. I've never done this in my entire life. It's actually not that bad. And I'm blessed. We're gonna go to we're gonna go to mass at two o'clock. Then we're gonna get to say the chaplet at three. This is awesome. If you've never been, you better get your buns here, especially for Divine Mercy Sunday. Bon appetit. We've gotta be quiet, okay, because people are praying. <laughs> So here we are at the Shrine of Divine Mercy in this beautiful chapel, church, shrine. And you see the image of Divine Mercy above the tabernacle. So gorgeous. We were here earlier for mass at two o'clock and then we stayed to pray the chaplet. And I just felt such peace. Cause as I mentioned, the last time I was here was when I was playing St. Faustina and I was here for Divine Mercy Sunday which was amazing, but there's so many people here at that time. So to get here, to be here today, was just a little bit more peaceful and to get to pray the chaplet along with the priests and have benediction with the Blessed Sacrament. So just so you know, if you wanna plan a visit to come, they have all these beautiful devotions. They have mass twice a day, starting with the 9 a.m. in the morning mass, and then they have a 2 p.m. mass. And at one o'clock, there's exposition of the Blessed Sacrament for adoration and then they have the Chaplet of Divine Mercy around three o'clock and they'll bless any religious articles that you bring in. So, and they have a beautiful gift shop <laughs> too. But I just, the altar is so gorgeous and unique, I think, to see the image of Divine Mercy over the tabernacle. This is St. John Paul II behind us. We've got a relic over here. Um, it just, if you haven't, I have to say about St. John Paul II, if you have not read his letter to artists, I encourage you to read it. It's awesome and inspiring. All right, now we're gonna head over to see St. Faustina's, this beautiful relief here, of Divine Mercy and St. Faustina. Inside of here, is the, what they call the basal phalanx. I'm, I'm probably not saying that correctly, but St. Faustina's toe, her great toe. So what an amazing first class relic that is. Over here, We've got an image of Blessed uh, Father Sapochko, who was her one of her confessors and, and spiritual directors. And down here, we've got a relic of Blessed Michael Sapochko. Here we've got St. Maria Faustina Kowalska's relic. Again, it looks like a piece of bone. And we've got St. Margaret Mary Alcott, powerhouse, right here in Hong Kong.
The last time I was here was when I performed St. Faustina back in 2014. So this is really special to have this opportunity to be back here. I did an interview earlier with Father Chris Alar for his show on EWTN, Living, Living Divine Mercy. So I'm excited. If you've never been to Stockbridge, I encourage you to come, especially for Divine Mercy Sunday, because it's just amazing. This whole place is packed and it's beautiful. And they also, we just got out of mass. We did two o'clock mass. And then we did the, um, they prayed the rosary. And then we did the, the Divine Mercy Chaplet at three o'clock. And there's first class relics of St. Faustina, St. Therese, uh, Blessed Michael Sapochko, I think, is in there. Just anybody you could want. <laughs> so please come and enjoy this little tour that we're going to give you today. It's just an amazing detail here. Of these crosses and, and Jesus. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's really powerful. It'll make you cry. Yeah. And it's so strong. It's a, amazing, especially when you come here and just having a little quiet time to be able to meditate. It's powerful. Yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> if I had my habit on, I'd look a little bit more like her, but she's my girl, St. Maria Faustina. We share the same name. Pray for us. Pray for all of our intentions, for everybody who's watching. It is so peaceful here. <laughs> Sacred Heart of Jesus has a bird on his head and a bird in his hand. <laughs> oh, they just flew away, darn it. <laughs> So we are now in the Shrine of the Holy Innocents, and this is a place, an opportunity for pilgrims who are coming to visit to come and pray for the victims of abortion, for anyone who's been a part of an abortion, to just pray for God's mercy to be upon them, for all of those lives that have been affected by abortion in any way, mothers, fathers, children and of course just for all of the the innocent who've been lost so we're going to say a prayer today
statues here. She's so beautiful. The Blessed Mother, her hands are just so delicate. beautiful here. I just encourage you all to come to Stockbridge, come to the Shrine of Divine Mercy. If you can, come for a day, come for two days. This area is beautiful and just to really take it in and come and spend the whole day and do their devotions with them. You can start from the morning and just walk the grounds. You can walk the Stations of the Cross that Father Chris showed us earlier really just come and make this a pilgrimage and and ask the lord to pour out his graces of mercy upon you as you do it and thank you to father chris and to all the marians and to all of you for watching and i hope you're enjoying these little tours that we're giving you along the way and just remember to please pray for us as we travel and pray for god's holy will to be done in our lives and with GKCE and just that we may serve the Lord and continue to spread the message of God's divine mercy with the whole world. Amen. Bye everybody. And hold.